the rush, you're crushing your brains. You should be learning something instead of fucking with games. Stop playing candy crush, you're crushing your brains. You should be learning something instead of fucking with games. Stop playing candy crush, you're crushing your brains. You should be learning something instead of fucking with games. Stop playing candy crush, you're crushing your brains. You should be learning something instead of fucking with games. We're all bored now. The process that creates this boredom that we see in the world now may very well be a self-perpetuating, unconscious form of brainwashing created by a world totalitarian government based on money. And that all of this is much more dangerous than one thinks. Somebody who's bored is asleep, and somebody who's asleep will not say no. Good evening, folks. Have you felt different than most people around you? Like me? <laughs> Welcome to the show. All my life I felt like I'm someone else When I should just accept me and love myself But something fell and rung the bell Now I've been awakened and not under a spell Standing up to yell with the world at my feet Wind in my back, I attack and hurl on this beat You think I'm gifted? Listen, it's a curse to be me It hurts when I see no purpose when we breathe In these all white clouds with these long tight frowns Whenever I'm up I fall right down now where's the pickup line at? Somewhere between you missed it And is it coming right back? But it never comes around again So we're stuck wondering if we're talentless Or just crowded with sounds that drown the sense Of making sense There's no towels, we're drenched In taking less Like an Allen wrench Embrace the hex Can't get around this mess Gotta embrace for it Stay ugly my friends Remember this one thing Before someone loves you You gotta love me Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News bringing you a grand solar minimum update filled with snow. Oh, my. All the way through May 6th. It's looking intense. Let's pause it. Heavy snow in New England coming through May. Heavy snow in northern PA. And this weekend, we're looking at a heavy storm in Wisconsin and Michigan, moving through the region. West of the Divide, you cannot hide. Look at Colorado. Heavy mountain snows bringing an epic river season that will not cease. People will die on these rivers, and we will guide them. Heavy snow up in Montana, up in Alberta, British Columbia. We're looking at delayed planting throughout Canada. Eastern Canada under snow, Western Canada under snow, a couple people planting some grain right here. That's about it. I'm glad you joined the effing awesome classroom. What better place could you be at? Ort minimum, Wolf minimum, Spore minimum, Maunder minimum, Dalt minimum, Glassberg minimum. You're looking at the last six minimums. The last five separated by 100 year periods of quiescence. And since the Glassberg, that would bring us to 2014. The dawn of the modern minima. You are here, folks. The modern Eddy minimum. And you're living it. Winter's not done yet. Snow to streak across north central U.S. this weekend. Old man winter has still a few tricks up its sleeve, including the hail. Holy hail. Did you see that? A storm from the Let's look at this. What's going on over here? Oh my gosh. A storm from the Pacific Ocean will travel just south of the U.S.-Canada border and bring mud floods. What is that? Oh my goodness. Let's get some video. Audio on the mud flood. Do it now. Do a dab. Where's Noah when you need him? No, but seriously, this isn't parsing. We're trying. We're trying to entertain you. The powers that be don't want it to happen. The street is covered with snow Monday, April 28th in North Dakota. Say it ain't soda. This storm may strengthen just enough to grab just enough moisture in the Gulf of Mexico to wreak havoc from Fargo to Milwaukee. 
snow Friday night into Saturday night. Accumulations mostly on non-paved surfaces because it's almost summer. In an arrow swath within a zone, according to AccuWeather local storm max, trademark of 10 inches of snow could occur, mainly on non-paved surfaces. The snow swath will overlap portions of U.S. Route 12, Interstate 90, and 94 corridors, making it their lose day, certainly. Accumulating heavy snow, wet snow likely across southeast Wisconsin Saturday, according to Fox Weather experts. Whew. Well, you better be taking notes. Here's the snowfall potential. 3 to 5 in Lake Geneva to Monroe to Dodgeville and Madison. Don't they make cheese there? I think it's pretty cheesy there. West Bend, 1 to 2. Weather Authority. Snow possible south this weekend. Snowfall outlook. Second call. Not last call yet, folks, but 3 to 5 in Madison is predicted by these people. Skies clear out tonight. We see temperatures drop in the mid to upper 30s, which are not schmerties. Hour by hour, Saturday at 12 o'clock. Black River Falls, La Crosse, you're fluxed. Adams, Watoma, and all these regions that I have no idea where they are. You're totally blue. Holy. Buy some snow. Yes, yeah, snow. Possible for Twin Cities this weekend. Mm -hmm. And we're not talking the Siamese cities because those are over in Asia. Snow could make a return to the Twin Cities this weekend, along with plummeting temperatures just seven weeks before summer. A high near 69 on Thursday is expected to fall to 59 on Friday, then 39 on Saturday, which is Saturday here in Pagosa, and your lose day in Twin Cities. It could be wet overnight Friday into Saturday, and Saturday's rain is expected to turn into a rain-snow mix and totally f*** your ass. According to the National Weather Service forecast, spring-like weather should make a quick return, however, and melt all that and cause flooding and mayhem and other nightmares, which we'll get to as it happens. Holy hey, Milwaukee today, Brewers! Time we got some beautiful Do it shots down. of Greenfield Park in West Dallas. Right. right over the lagoon. See some birds flying there. Still waiting for the trees to fill in with leaves. Just, Just think. Fill it in with in a, a dab. couple of days, <laughs> all that green grass and leaves will be covered in snow. That shot makes you think, oh, it's spring. This is delightful. Yeah. yeah. And yet. Welcome yet, to Wisconsin. We April shenanigans. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll see that snow come in probably pretty heavy at times, especially Saturday afternoon into the evening. Then it moves out. A lot of melting will occur on Sunday. We'll get to all that in just a moment, but we do have some changes tonight. It's 60 southwest to Deerfield and Stoughton some scattered showers. So if you're not seeing the showers right now, more showers will be moving in throughout the course of the evening. Now they will be moving out later on tonight with a low temperature at 45. Tomorrow turning sunny, but that's gonna be a little bit deceiving. That northwest wind will be from 15 to 25 miles an hour, keeping temperatures in the upper 50s. So a lot of sunshine expected for your Friday. Saturday morning probably pretty quiet as well, but as we get into the afternoon, we'll likely see a bit of a, a mix of some rain, uh, possibly some sleet and some snow, but then throughout the afternoon into the evening, snow will be likely across southeastern Wisconsin. Snow, snow showers, showers will move time, out. Early, early Let's shut him up. Dapper Dan looking fantastic tonight. April's crazy weather will continue with the chance of accumulating snow Saturday, which is Saturday here in Pagosa. Snow looks likely for an entire area that could cause slick issues Saturday evening. Lake Geneva picking up on the bullseye. So if you're in this region, heads up. Because AccuWeather Storm Max trademark weather is saying 10 inches in the spot. Smoke your... I didn't even say that. Late season snowfall rec records fall in far corners of U.S. as winter makes its, well, comeback on Easter. Take a look at Easter driving. Do a dab. There's no audio, so we, we won't even turn it off. We'll do dabs live. Mm. Rustin. We're going to get to that. Spring is in full swing across most, but not all of the U.S. as April begins its final week. The wintry weather has been lingering over some remote corners of the country. Check this out. Maine, it's insane. Old Man Winter paid a long visit to Caribou, Maine this year with 163 consecutive days starting November 10th and ending April 21st, 2019 with over an inch of snow on the ground. 
That's like half the year. This usual long stretch of snowy conditions kicked off during a stormy November when the town measured nearly 30 inches of snow. Two months later, Caribou snow saw its snowiest January ever on record with 60 inches. And then April, another snowiest month on record in the middle of global warming. Who's buying that oh, pile of horse poo poo? Nobody. That's why they stuck the stick right in it. Since the start of November, Caribou has seen 161.2 inches of snow. Ho, ho, ho. Well above 100 inch average, but still off the 197 inch record. And that's not a schmeckard. That's in the record books. Another record snowfall happened in Alaska just moments ago. Anchorage had another record daily snowfall Monday with 2.7 inches of snow falling April 22nd. The previous record of 1.7 back in 2010 fell. Holy hell, as Al vomited shit right in your face. Yes. Al, get your hole. God, I haven't said that in a while. Temperatures will slowly warm up to the mid-50s next Monday, but by that point, parts of the Molson Valley will be nearly 60. Holy schmixty. So, another record snowfall returns to the place where they claimed they were all going to burn up. Two killed in rust in Louisiana after town suffers an EF3 tornado strike overnight. Welcome to spring. Hail and tornadoes will be in your future in record numbers. Do it down. Do it now. I can't believe I just did that. I deserve a timeout. New study, the recent CO2 increase has had an even greater earth greening impact than previously thought. Who was even thinking that it didn't have an impact? Now, before we get to this amazing article, let's reopen the ones we didn't even talk about that you were looking at, but you didn't even hear about. And now you can hear about it because we are unmuted and unadulterated. Mysterious eruption came from Campe Falegre. Have you heard? I know most people didn't hear that. I have to mute. I have to clip that out. So we actually went dead way before the seismic update. Holy 3.7 magnitude. Have you heard about this? New Madrid much? I don't even know when we went off the charts. When, let's go to the last video and we'll, we'll, we'll know when that happened. Jesus, that's a lot of, that's a lot of lost time. I know, you're 20 minutes in. You're going to stick with me because now you can hear me. ADAPT 2030 Ice Age Report, Western Australia, coldest April ever recorded. Have you seen this? I'm sure you have, but you didn't hear me say anything about it. Road. We got a lot to talk about. Adapt 2030 Ice Age Report. Western Australia, coldest April day ever recorded. Come check out his video. Western Australia's earl earliest snow in 48 years. Now what they're claiming in Australia is it's the latest snow or the earliest snow ever recorded. Which means that seasons are overlapping in the Southern Hemisphere. Dubine will be at Lee Con in four weeks. He's getting there early. Come check out the video. Links will be below. Let's blow through this. Flood disaster to unfold after Cyclone Kenneth makes historic landfall in Mozambique. <clears throat> Look at the lightning putting on a spectacular display over Chi-Town this weekend. Kenneth is the first tropical cyclone with the equivalent of hurricane strength winds to Cat 4 happening in Cabo Delgado. 
Sustained winds to 124 miles per hour killed up to three people. I'm sure that number will go up. Life-threatening flooding evacuations. First recorded hurricane of this strength ever in history. Ever in history. And that's the tornado we just talked about. 3.7 mag earthquake hits the New Madrid zone in West Tennessee. Sharding pants taking names south of here of... We had a mine collapse earlier in the day. It could have triggered that, but the awakening of New Madrid could also be triggering that. Seismic update, no quakes of note. Normal activity, thankfully. Calm down, kids. Mysterious eruption came from Campe Falegre Caldera. It did. 40,000 years ago, the skies darkened and 80% of the population may have died. And then 15,000 years ago, during the largest mass extinction on Earth, this baby also went off early. Are you getting squirrely? Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Nevado de Ruiz volcano and activity updates blowing to 21,000 feet today. Volcanic ash emission reported. Not only that, SACO exploded 36 hours ago, as well as worldwide volcano news update. Fuego, Bromo, Ducono, Reventador, Krakatoa. Say it ain't so, uh, and Sakota Jima. This is kink in my spleena. Now, the new study, the recent CO2 increases, has even greater earth greening impact than previously thought. Whew. This global warming is amazing. The earth has been rapidly greening in recent decades, and CO2 fertilization may explain 70% of the trend. According to Zhu et al. in 2016 paper, you can click on right here. A new study finds models have significantly underestimated the greening effect of a global warming world. <laughs> and now that we have audio, that's pretty fun in tonight's first boom. Check out the link below. Measles outbreak sparks quarantine orders at two LA universities. This is today. People had to shelter in place because of the threat of measles. Some students and employees at two LA universities have been quarantined due to possible contact with measles virus. Oh my god. It's like Ebola, only measles. Officials said Thursday. The University of California, LA, UCLA, and California State University, Los Angeles totally overreacted and quarantined people while the dangerous Ebola measles virus was released. Since then, UCLA has reached out to other potentially affected individuals, saying that they may bleed out and from their harness in their eyes. Probably not. Frustrated pilots got Navy to stop dismissing UFO sightings because they're UFOs. Oh my God, it's almost like global warming coming out of the mouth of pilots. No, it's actually facts. I'm sorry. These pilots aren't smoking cracks. They're reporting on facts. A recent uptick in sightings of unidentified flying objects, or as the military calls them, UFOs, prompted the U.S. Navy to draft formal procedures for pilots to document these encounters. Since 2014, the intrusions have been happening on a regular basis, says Joseph Gratisher, spokesman for the De Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Information Warfare. He told the Washington Post Wednesday, recently unidentified aircraft entering military-designated airspace as often as multiple times per month have been reported. UFOs multiple times per month have been reported recently. What is going on? I think that Tyrannosaurus Rex may be coming in from other planets to shovel during the Grand Solar Minimum. This may could be a conspiracy theory. Maybe someone will even come here and kill me about it. Who knows? Utterly bizarre. Chimera crab fossils discovered. Makes you wonder what else is out there. Yeah. We know about 1% of any life that ever lived here, including the life that's here right now. No matter what they tell you, they're lying to you. Now, paleontologists recently unearthed a fossil of an ancient crab that lived between 90 and 95 million years ago that is utterly bizarre. Has gigantic eyes and flies around and has a big crab claw. It looks like a fucking crab. What are they talking about? Anyway, no news is good news, I guess. Because that's certainly not news. The universe is expanding so fast we might need new physics to explain it. Holy sh Or the physics we're currently using is completely bunk and it can't explain anything. Which is more like it. 
because this article claims they know that how fast the universe is expanding, which is hilarious because redshift was disproven to be a factor in anything. And when we actually looked at the speeds of universes or galaxies going towards and away from us, we found that there are equally as many coming towards us as are going away from us. Therefore, the expansion universe theory is total bunk. Like Al Gore's lunch. Bunk. It's like bunk lunch. Lunch bunk much? I'm so glad I'm back and you can hear me. I'm sure you hate it. UN Agenda 2030, a recipe for globalism, socialism, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is nonsensism. Now, if you don't know what UN Agenda 2030 is, it means that you get 5G, you get chipped, and that the Fitbit you've been wearing for five years has actually been tracking your ass and they know how fast your heart beats. Can you imagine that? Officially dubbed Agenda 2030, the UN plot at its full title suggests is aimed at transforming the world the way they want it. The program will follow up the defunct Millennium Development Goals or MDGs. It also dovetails nicely with the deeply controversial UN Agenda 21 which would make most of the national forests off limits and you have to move to a city where you will breathe polluted air and eat, yes, people. Imagine that. Soylent green is delicious. After Pentagon ends contract, top scientists group vows to carry on. Now these laser beam people, the Jasons, a group of scientists who advise the U.S. government have been fired because they need all the remaining money to move underground because it's about the event is about to occur. And the developed technologies that the Jasons have been working on are no longer needed. Read this article. It's very telling. The U.S. government stopped paying millions of dollars to a group of top scientists because they don't need their information anymore. What the... Are you kidding me? And they pay Al Gore and the UN and the IPCC. They all get billions of dollars because they need that chart. One of Stephen Hawking's most famous theories about black holes can suck it. It just had a huge blow and not from a gummy or a toothless whore on the corner but from actual science. One of Hawking's most famous theories about dark matter is total shit because dark matter is fake. It's a mathematical construct just like a black hole and you can stick it right in that black hole. And this poor guy is dead. Thankfully. No more corner store books for that prick. You want to know about some solutions? I'm about to talk about them and Stephen Hawking isn't one of them. But earth tubes are. How about the fact that we're so stupid we haven't put tubes in the ground to harness the 54 degrees that exist below six feet ever? We burn industry fuels, electricity, natural gas, and oil to heat our homes because the multinational corporations have duped your slave ass into buying it. When all you need is a in plastic tube to suck the air out of the ground and you can keep yourself a toasty 54-24-7. Are you in heaven? Please learn about biotexture, earth engineering, and earth tubes. Read the article. We're about to install some here. And we're going to be showing you the videos starting tomorrow. Are you ready? Prepared, not scared. Check out the Oppenheimer Ranch Preparedness Store where you can buy almost everything. Or anything, depending on what you need. If it's for prepping, it's probably in here. Survival supplements, season extenders. We have an entire library, ham radios, flashlights, gasifiers, books, meters, Geiger counters, solar generators, bomb shelters, storm shelters, tornado shelters, CB radio technology, bulk seeds, sprouting, portable heaters, telescopes, greenhouses, survival seats, thermal imagers, winter survival essentials, Scandinavian hatchets, wind power turbines, cannabis products, grow lights, solar... Are you kidding me? Boom! <laughs> Shovel it up. Stock it up. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Now, de extinction laboratories in effect. Are you, we're going to talk about GMO mammoths for fuck's sake. That's in our future. You better prepare. That, that's crazy. But thankfully, according to the mainstream, we're all burning up, including the dog you're in. Shovel it up, because that's what you're being fed. 
Tyrannosaurus Rex poop. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I apologize for the mute out. Get the word out. Share this channel. Subscribe now if you haven't. We love each and every one of you. I'm not doing this for my health. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom.